what's the first thing you do nest you've heard of the word nest it's an english language a case where you have something contained in something so in mathematics you start by solving the inner bracket first Hey some Ninjas, it's Rose here. Welcome back to the School of Mathematics, Nigeria. <laughs> but we're here for everybody, okay? Ignore the Nigeria. All right, so today we're dealing with nested brackets. Of course, this is an expression. This is a mathematical expression. There is no equal sign. If there was an equal sign, you would call it an equation. Remember, we did that in the previous class. So if you were not here or you missed out, you could check to see what we're talking about okay now straight to what we're here for nested brackets this is this is a situation where you have brackets within other brackets in this case we have just two brackets so we have the parentheses we have the square brackets of course it's like a square and then you have your coily brackets straightforward nothing so much right so nested bracket is a case where you have these different brackets together and then you are giving an expression or equation to solve. It's left for you to know what to do next. And it's very simple and straightforward. Let's get into it. So you're going to just continue, but you solve the inner bracket. This is the inner bracket, right? So two plus one is what? It's three. So you're left with the outer bracket. That's the second bracket. So three minus three is, that's all. Simple as what? A, B, C. So let's move to another question. We have one. We have two. And we have three. Once you open the bracket, you have to close it. Okay? Once you open the bracket, you have to close it. So you see how they put in the square bracket so that we can differentiate it from the parentheses. Right? So let's do this. You have to solve the innermost. Right? And then you keep going out until you get to the final one so let's do it so seven a minus or minus now that we are we're here we have to open this bracket okay so five would open this bracket right because these two things here cannot be solved okay b and a they are two different letters so you have to use five to open this bracket right so five times b or minus five times b minus 5b do you see that minus times minus is plus so 5 times 3a is 15a so we're done with this bracket we close with our square bracket and also close with our final bracket just take your time okay moving to the next bracket which is the square bracket we're going to use our minus there's a one here we usually don't write one so we're going to use our minus one to open this second in a bracket okay so you have seven eight now minus times four minus one times four is minus four minus times minus is plus five b minus times plus is minus 15 a close your last bracket i hope it's making sense right so now this is your last bracket so seven is going to expand this last bracket so you have seven times a seven a then 7 times minus 4 is minus 28, right? 7 times plus 5 is plus 35b. You have to know your multiplication table, okay? Then 7 times minus 15 is what? 05a. Now, what do you notice here? Of course, you have to take your time. After you're done expanding, you have to take your time to realize what you notice. You see that we have a, we have a right they look alike so what do you do you collect like terms 7a minus 105a is what you're going 98 right so you have minus 98a okay followed by what 335b then you have your minus 28 so this is the final answer for this particular question You've opened your brackets, the nested brackets. You started from the inner one, the innermost one, and then you expanded to the next one, which is your square bracket, and then finally to the parentheses. And then when you got to this point, you didn't stop here. You tried to check if there was any sibling 
that you could bring closer. If you do not get what we're doing right now, you would have to check our previous video. I'll link it somewhere here or here. <laughs> you have to check to get and be on track, right? So we collected like terms because A and A, of course, they look alike, they are siblings. A is here, A is here, so you have to solve it, right? And then we are left with B and just a number. They don't look alike. There's B here, there's no B here, so they can't do anything together. B and A are not alike, right? That's why you have this to be your final answer. Let's solve another example so you can get it better, okay? Always take note of your brackets. Once you open up a bracket, you have to close it. Our uh, innermost bracket is this one, of course, right? This, then we move to this, then we move to this, okay? So now let's do it. Just write out what you already have because we're trying to go to this one. So of course, x minus y cannot be solved. They don't look alike. So what would help us to open this bracket is the closest thing to the bracket, which is minus 2. Always take the signs in front of the number with it, right? So minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus y. Minus times minus is plus. 2 times y is 2y. This bracket is done with. So we're moving to the square. Do you see? Color it up. So we're moving on. We have 2x. And of course, to open this square bracket, it has to be the number closest to it, which is plus 3. So plus 3 times 5 is plus 15. Plus 3 times minus 2x. Plus times minus is minus. 3 times 2 is 6x. Okay? So plus times plus, plus. 3 times 2y, 6y. Close it with a final one because you're done with the square bracket. You've expanded it. Okay? Now moving on, this is the last expression that we have to open. We call it open bracket or expand. Open bracket. Okay? So you have 4 times 2x, 8x. 4 times plus 15 is... 60, 4 times minus 6x is minus 24x, 4 times plus 6y is plus 24y. Of course, we've said it, that once you are done opening your brackets or expanding, make sure you take note of letters that look alike. Whatever looks alike, bring it together and solve, right? So we have x here, we have x here, let's bring it together. So you have 8x minus 24x. Take note, the sign wouldn't change because you're not crossing an equal sign. Take note of the difference. It's when you're crossing an equal sign that the sign in front of it changes. But when you have an expression just bringing it closer to each other, nothing changes. Okay? So you have plus 24y. You can arrange it however you want. I just want the letters first. You have 8. You are only 24. What does that tell you? Once you give the person the 8, you are left. What are you going? 16 plus 24y plus 60. Some people will tell you, oh, there's something common here. We'll get to that, okay? Some of you can leave your answer like this. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You can always put your equal to, okay? Some of you can leave your answer like this, but for as many, I already know the factors. <laughs> I already know what is common here, right? You know that two can go here, two can go here, two can go here. Fine. Okay, what else can go? Let's see. Can four, four, four. Okay, the highest numbers that can go through is four. So you can have somebody tell you that, oh, minus four is common. So you have minus four. What is left is 4x, right? minus 6y then minus 15. don't worry we might get to a topic that would lead us to something like this so somebody can have this as their answer or some people can decide to further go this way whichever one is correct okay do not panic do not stress or oh. this is yours to do just based on what we've done thus far i'm sure you can do this okay 
So to summarize what we've done thus far, we said that a nested bracket is a case where you have two or more brackets together in an in a given expression or equation. And we said for you to solve such kind of expressions, you have to start with the innermost bracket and then go out. That way you're able to expand or open all of your brackets, right? And of course, do not forget to subscribe if you learned a thing or two, share so that others can learn, and let's leave our answers in the comment section. Okay, on to the next class. Bye. I always forget to say this, but we're also on every other platform. You can check the description box. Okay, to the next class. Don't stop learning. Bye.